we hit fog, a lot of really bad fog, and a lot more rain. <laughs> a lot of nasty, nasty rain. This is the story of that trip. This is a video Milton Regional Councilor Zishan Hamid created to recap his trip around Lake Superior over the May long weekend. It's been a few weeks since that trip. Not only was it to raise awareness about mental health, Hamid also used this trip to raise funds. He says the trip was interesting. From a fundraising point of view, it went really well because if you remember, my initial goal was $600, ended up raising more, raising more than 6000 In fact, I had to end the fundraiser to make sure that, you know, we had money to raise in the future as well. Uh, so that went really well. The weather did not cooperate. It rained half the time, and when it didn't rain, it was below zero. But it was still a blast, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. You go through these natural areas where uh, you don't see a lot of other drivers. We actually ended up tracking the lake, so we didn't stay on a highway. We actually literally tracked the lake, and we ended up discovering these like amazing small windy roads. Check this out. Nice scene, eh? Oh, hi. I hope you're enjoying it. With the over $6,000 raised this year, Hamid says the money will be funneled through the Community Foundation of Halton North to two organizations. There's a rock, they do a lot of great work, and there's an organization called Nasiha. What they do is uh, they direct money to therapists directly, and so if you need help, you can go through them and you get a therapist, you can go through your entire program, and your fees is paid directly by the charity. Uh, we're making sure that the money gets spent in the community, so it's not just Milton strictly, but you know, just in this vicinity area, uh, because most of the money was raised from this area, and it will all be spent this year. So it's not like, it's not like something that is going into some fund or foundation 100% of it will be uh, saved this year and I'm paying all the fees and all the extra stuff myself to make sure that any money that gets donated goes directly 100% of it to the program. Having to deal with anxiety himself, Hamid says the hope of this trip was to get people to talk more openly about mental health and help break the stigma. A lot of times people don't talk about mental health, especially men, because there's this, it's changing, but it hasn't got to the point where it should. And I'm trying to get more and more people, men and women, to talk about their mental health. And we all deal with something, uh, like every single one of us. We all deal with something. And I think more open we are about it, the more accepting the society will become. That was the main goal. And I think in that sense, you know, people are starting to talk more about it. In fact, as I mentioned uh, earlier, pre-recording, uh, an organization, a group, a writing group, was uh, doing a ride to Quebec next weekend. And I'm going to join them in turning this into a mental health drive as well. So they're hoping to raise $5,000. To watch Hamid's Lake Superior recap, you can go on his YouTube channel, Caffeine and Gasoline. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.